good afternoon, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me today um, on this IGTV. Um, we are gonna continue our doTERRA's top essential oils. I think we're on day six, is that what I said? Um, so we're almost halfway through. Tomorrow, well, in between today and tomorrow, <laughs> we will officially be halfway through. And now that I'm halfway through, I'm like, whoa, Nelly, I think I took like, didn't think it was gonna be this involved. It was like 13 days, I can totally do 13 days. Oh my gosh, it's so long. Um, so if you are still following me, I just appreciate it and love that you guys are sending me those like DMs and like sharing on your stories and just like reposting and stuff. I see you um, and it just means the world to me because it just encourages me that these are series and um, you know, like informative things that you guys like. Um, so keep it coming and I will keep it coming. You keep it coming and I'll keep it coming. All right, so today, if you have not been on my Instagram feed, um, we are going to be talking about a really good one. Frankie, Frankie Poo, frankincense. Um, not to be confused with Frankenstein, which my son has called it before. Um, so this is frankincense, also known as the king of oils, is another way that people refer to frankincense. And I have been kind of deeming this um, the last couple of months, the salt of oils. And that's because I'm a foodie, and if you don't know, you can literally add a little bit of salt to pretty much anything, including fruit and sweet dishes, and it only makes um, that dish that much better. So that's kind of how frankincense is. You could literally add a couple of drops of frank to pretty much anything that you made, diffuser blend, roller bottle blend, anything, and it's only going to make that, um, that thing that much better. There's another saying we have in the oil world, when in doubt, bust Frank out, and it just goes along with the same thing. It just does so much. Um, but of course, it's a top oil, and it has top uses. So I'm going to focus on the top most used, most known, most widely known um, sort of uses and things about Frank. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the emotional side of it because there is, now that we're kind of getting into those singular oils, um, and a lot of them are a little, you know, okay, frankincense is going to be a highly emotional oil. So we'll talk a little bit more on that. Um, okay, so let me flip my camera. Oh, actually, before I flip my camera around, let me tell you what I specifically use Frank for. So in our household, this is an immunity powerhouse for us. It is in almost every one of our immunity rollers, including this one that I just so happen to have right next to me, um, which is a daily immune support roller, as well as this one. So right there, we've got two immune rollers that I just literally happen to have next to me for something else I was doing and frankincense is in both of them. Um, but we also tend to use frankincense a lot in our house for sleep help. So it goes in our diffusers towards evening time, nighttime, mixed with things like serenity, lavender, wild orange, tangerine, um, you know, even like um, Arbor Vitae, I think I said lavender, right? anything like that, uh, balance, just to start to kind of calm us and get us ready for sleep time because it is so good um, in the mood and uh, sleep situation. Um, we also, or I also use it in my skin serum because it is so good for um, face, like skin, face skin, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, um, blemishes, wrinkles, stuff like that, um, age spots, anything like in that kind of department. So I use it every night in my skin serum. And because of that same thing, being a skin powerhouse, I have it in my son's owie roller. Uh, so it can kind of help with any boo-boos or scrapes or anything like that. 
but it's also an anti-inflammatory, so it's another reason why it's in my son's um, owie roller, because if he gets a boo-boo and it's inflamed, that's gonna kinda go in and help that situation. Same reason why it's in my um, skin serum. If I have any sort of redness or inflammation, acne, anything going on, that's gonna kinda go in and calm that down. And then the last way that we like to use it is a drop under our tongue or in a veggie cap, because it doesn't taste the best to me, um, just for like general inflammation like inflammatory issues that we have inside, um, as well as just immune support again and cellular health and stuff. So those are just some personal ways that we incorporate Frank every single day. And I don't know if you can see, but I am almost out. And so that is sad. I will be putting it on my LRP in July, but let me flip my camera around. Let's talk really briefly about the emotional side and the top uses, and then we'll be done. Okay, so they are deeming frankincense as the oil of truth, um, reveals deceptions and false truths, invites individuals to let go of lower vibrations, lies, deceptions, and negativity, helps create new perspectives based on light and truth, recalls to memory spiritual understanding, gifts, wisdom, and knowledge um, that the soul brought into the world. Um, so it supports creating a healthy attachment with one's father, uh, assists in spiritual awakening, and helps an individual feel the love of the divine. When one has felt abandoned or forgotten, frankincense reminds them that they are loved and protected. Some of the negative, I, you know, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, some of the negative emotions is abandoned, spiritually disconnected, distant from father, unprotected spiritual darkness, and some of the positive properties that it's going to bring about is going to be enlightened, loved, protected, wisdom, discerning, spiritually open, and connected to the father. So this oil is safe to use topically, and it is super gentle. So you can even use it on newborns and up, definitely dilute on a newborn. But if you just have normal, um, not so sensitive skin, you can apply this undiluted, just right on your skin, right out of the bottle. You can also take this internally, and we know that because it says supplement facts on it. And this is also beautiful, diffused. It just has such a yummy smell to me, and it's very earthy and, and great. Okay, then moving on to the top uses. Um, again, things that I already kind of addressed on, but we'll just go over again. So mood support, um, uh, brain health, cellular health, pain and inflammation, um, anything that really has to do with cell damage, cell regeneration, and so on. And then when we go to the other uses right here, you will read, um, it's again, a lot of brain um, disorders. It's a lot of immune disorders, immune support, and also skin. Um, that's where you'll get like the scarring, warts, wrinkles. It is, it just loves to be on your skin. Going to the emotional use a little bit more, it says it's a restoring oil, both inside and out, um, revealing falseness and restoring awareness of truth. And here are just some super fun blends. So the grounding blend, that's going to be balance. And the joyful blend, I think that is cheer, if I remember correctly. Um, so that is gonna be a great one that you could make a large bottle of make a roller out of or put in your diffuser. And then here you go, a really nice immune supporter, frankincense, oregano, and on guard. You could put that in a veggie cap or in a roller up and down your spine. That's part of our flume blend. So the, all that's missing is lemon um, and melaleuca, I think. Um, so that's kind of what we do up and down our spine and bottoms of our feet when we are sick. So that is going to be it for me for frankincense. Um, if you have any questions, you guys can feel free to DM me. Um, I would love you to share this and comment and just, you know, tag your friends and stuff and, and keep this going. Um, and thank you so much, you guys, for all of your love and support.